One brig tip for every hero. Wait, wait, what's the description on this one? Oh, never mind. Wait, shield jumps? Oh. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is CarQ, and today they're- Oh my god, three- 317. Oh, 600 HP. Oh no. Oh no. There is no special guest and you're stuck with me. I'm going to be bringing you one or more Brigitte tip versus every hero. It's going to be packed with a lot of extra tips compared to the other videos because she's such a brand new hero. So without wasting any time, let's move to the general tip. Dude, it sounds like you uh, you had a cold this weekend. So what you want to do is learn how to sh Jesus Christ. I'm already having PTSD. What the f so what you want to do is learn how to shield bash jump to reposition and catch enemies off guard. The way to do this is to jump first to elevate yourself, then shield bash towards the target <laughs> object, and if done correctly, the speed from the shield bash should allow you to glide upwards. Your starting point should be relatively close to the object because you need most of the shield- Does anybody remember the bug where if you jumped, shield bash, and whip shotted, you flew across the map? I remember. Bash distance to be hitting the angled object in order for you to gain the vertical height. To see more, I'm going to link a subreddit in the description that nah. shares the current This guy's job. showing the rollouts. Out of the way, let's get started. Against Doomfist, I'm going to give you a bunch of tips so we can cover all of his abilities. First, your shield bash stun during Rocket Punch does not work. So ideally, you want to stun him. <laughs> One of the few things that actually didn't work versus Doom, and then they changed it and made it so it does. So ideally, you want to stun him while he's charging it instead. If you uppercut him, stun him in midair and flail him away to create some distance, and it will end up healing. Oh my god! Damage, oh my god! You're passive. The stun technically works against Seismic Slam, but the damage will still go through. Finally, for his ultimate, you should be able to block all the damage for you and anyone behind you as long as you have the shield facing the center. It still has 300 HP to spare. Oh my god! Of the circle. Against Genji, the flail doesn't work during deflect, but the stun will, so look for a shield bash opportunity if he deflects in front of you. Unlike Ryan's shield, Brigitte's shield is too tiny to block any flashbangs above or to the side reliably, so be careful of that. You can also shield bash stun to cancel his high noon. Now you just pop ult and shield bash it, so. Ara is a huge counter to Brigitte, as you do absolutely nothing to her as long as she's out of your flail range, which you really shouldn't be wasting on her anyways. If she barrages, just run out of line of sight because your shield can break really fast, your stun can't reach her, and- Crazy how different it is, like, nowadays you just bash away and try to run, but like, Brig was so strong that like, most people were like, Yeah, I can stand and tank this barrage, I might die at the end of it, but I'll get most of it. Barrages, just run out of line of sight because you She literally almost fast, survives it. Your stun can't reach I think, I actually think, I, I think for the video you guys put the shield down, but if, she if you kept shield up the whole time, time you might have tanked it. Break really fast, <laughs> it was close. Her, and your flail can't knock her back, although the 70 damage from it can be useful if your team is focusing her down. Reaper thrives at being at close range, so boop him away from his target when possible to lower his effectiveness. You can also block a lot of the Death Blossom damage with your shield, but ideally just go for a shield dash stun to cancel it completely. Against Soldier, look to boop him off his healing pad whenever possible. Against his tactical visor specifically, your shield, along with the one second stun, and the ultimate can effectively take the entire duration. Therefore, it can be a viable tactic to run up to his face with the as much as possible. Oh my god! It's so f***ing scary, man! Against Sombra, if you hear her fingers go deep 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 deep, quickly flick and turn to move the shield in her direction to stop it. Good luck to console players and people with low sensitivities. It may not really be viable for you, but it's honestly the best way to stop the hack. If you're expecting an EMP, you should actually pop your ultimate early on because you won't lose any of the- Oh my ultimate. god, the over rally. And you keep the speed boost. 400 HP armored brig. Additionally, when you see a high translocation- Oh my god, dude. Remember 400 HP Brig and then you could oh my god speed boost Additionally when you see a high translocator thrown and an EMP coming up You can reactively buffer your flail and boop her away as she casts it. and it was permanent until damage was taken Yes, there was actually times in overwatch league um, Where Briggs would almost build an entire another ult before they knocked the, the armor off of Brig So she would just be 400 HP just chilling with the tanks just sitting there healing everybody and then if she got pressured she had 400 hp and was already like halfway to the next rally yeah and then there was the the famous zen with the 425 hp and the super shield oh man her emp range away from yourself and teammates 
The absolute best tip against Tracer is the 150 damage one shot. Wait, can you do this with Brig now? Now that she's been buffed, the st the shield stun, can you do this again? Is this is this actually back? The absolute best tip against Tracer. It is. The stun is too short. Oh, so you can probably recall out of it. Yeah, if you don't have recall, you're probably f but okay, if she can recall out of it, it's not as bad. There is the 150 damage. But this is what we were talking about when we were all freaking out about seeing Brig again. When all, everyone was freaking out, was like, oh my god, not again, not again, not again. Then it was like, oh, you guys are just all overreacting. You don't understand the sh we saw. Tip against Tracer is the 150 damage. On that one was shot. the easiest combo of all time. It didn't matter if it was Dante on Tracer. Combo You're getting clapped. And pull off. And this is done by using Shield Bash for 50 damage, melee for 30, and then 70 for the flail. This has to be executed quickly before the stun wears off from the shield. It really wasn't that hard to do. Recall and survive. It was very Taking easy. Bashing out is a team effort because he wrecks most heroes in a 1v1, including Brigitte. The tip here is to understand that stunning him won't take him out of sentry form, and using flail will not knock him back, so play accordingly to how your team wants to execute on him. Against Hanzo, if he uses his dragon strike, you can shield bash to stun him to stop it and cancel it completely. Against Junkrat, you can survive his Riptire as long as you hold your shield up in front of it when it detonates. <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, if he's using his mines to jump in the air, his trajectory is relatively predictable so you can boop him away. Against Mei, there's a delay between her voice line and the blizzard coming out, so if you can stun her in between that, you can cancel her completely. <laughs> if she's freezing someone, simply heal up your teammate yeah, and there's no way to save her. Against Brigitte's father, you can stun his turret to stop it from shooting momentarily, and when he pops his molten core, it's a good idea to counter with your own ultimate to mitigate most of the turret damage with your armor. <laughs> you just don't die. It wasn't possible. It's not your job to take care of her because none of your abilities can reach her. Just keep your shield up to protect yourself if you're in her line of sight. When D.Va is in her demeching animation, your flail will knock her back the full amount since she isn't counter moving against it. So this is the best opportunity to knock her off the map. Wait, does that still apply? I don't think it does. I think when D.Va gets demeched now, she like sits there. She like hard locks, but like baby D.Va still ejects. Is the, the, the mech too though? I don't think it does. I think you can do Baby Diva, but not the mech. Like, it just, it locks into the ground now. Additionally, your shield bash can stun and cancel micro missiles and her booster jet. However, she does maintain a portion of the movement momentum. Against Orisa, you can prevent yourself from being pulled by Halt if you face your shield towards it before God, it this out. this has just brought back so much PTSD. Against Ryan, you can shield bash to stun him in your own Ryan and can get an easy shatter off. You can also add a boop just to be safe in case your Ryan has a slow reaction time. Now here's a bonus tip with some serious- Did you guys see how far, by the way, the boop went? Did you see the whip shot? Have y'all not- the... You understand Brig was the reason we had to give Ryan a passive, right? Like, remember- prevent yourself from... For those who don't know, all the tanks now have a passive, like, 30% knockback. You know Ryan was the first one who got that, right? You know why we had to give Ryan a passive for knockback was because of this. Against Ryan, you can shield bash to stun him, and your own Ryan can get an easy shatter off. You can also add a boop just to be safe in case. Bro, he he went for a coffee. To Ryan has a slow reaction time. Now here's a bonus tip with some serious mind games. If both teams are running a Ryan and Brigitte, and both teams are looking for a stun shatter play. You can let their Brigitte stun your Ryan first, then you go for the stun as soon as he starts to shatter to completely cancel it. You know how awful that was, though? You were literally at the mercy of your Brig versus their Brig. That, like, when people talk about support being overpowered and, like, and, like they freak out, this is the sh they remember. Because you were literally at your Brig's mercy. If your Brig didn't do it, you just lost. You just fell over. And that was it. Like... <laughs> that was it. Yeah, it was yeah, over. Yeah, how's it, Ruben? Yeah, this was this was awful. Where does Mercy fit in all of this? Uh, you talking about Moth Meta? That was different. Ultimately, this plan can fail if you miss your stun or the enemy body blocks it. So do this. You could way. also bash the Brig when they were bashing your Rhine. It was yeah, possible. Yes. In terms of the other Rhine interactions, you can cancel his. <laughs> does anyone remember this one? In terms of the other Ryan interactions, you can cancel his charge with your stun to either stop his initiation or to save a teammate. You can also try to boop him away if he's going for a charge on a shattered teammate. And finally, if you have your ultimate available, you can actually challenge Ryan in a swing duel because of the armor buildup and the passive healing. So keep this in mind if it's like over time and you have a Y'all think I was f 
joking, dude? Did y'all think I was joking back in the day, dude? There's a reason why we freak out at this. We have been on this ship before. Well, you can actually challenge Ryan in a swing duel because of the armor buildup and the passive healing. So keep this in mind if it's like overtime and you guys are like the last two alive. Against Roadhog, stun will cancel both his take a breather and his Speaking whole of old break, Additionally, if he hits don't an ally, forget that her ally armor's damage mitigation was calculating wrong for like three years. In the worst cases, her armor stacks were 45% stronger than regular. Oh my armor. god, you're right, I forgot about that. Was real. Will heal, stun, or boop will suffice in saving them. Brigitte is a great counter to Winston as there are plenty of options to nullify his kit. First, if he tries to leap in, you can boop him away. If he manages to land, and there's an Aspen clip. There's an Aspen clip that needs that, that should be here. Go for a squishy. You can stun him, and your teammate should be able to create enough distance to get out of his range. The famous Aspen clip. Oh. From this is from Overwatch One. Ready? Oh. Fucking sniper. They use nade. They use nade. I have my nade. I'm gonna oh. stop. Uh... There's a lot on fire. What's going on? What's come going on? Come on, 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 Yo, I'm literally like doing 50 things at once. Relax. Wait, it froze. It froze. Uh, wait, just pop it in. Pop it. Wait, what happened? It froze. Twitter quality, hello? Yo, I'm literally like doing 50 things at once. Twitter, what the f? Relax. Uh, wait, just pop it in. Pop it. <laughs> Whatever, you got the point. You got the point. Healing them with the bonus armor that comes with it also works, since Winston's Tesla cannon sucks against armor. Finally, don't be afraid to duel him in a 1v1 due to your passive healing. If Zarya is focusing down a teammate, wait for her bubble to expire and then boop her away. Don't be afraid to duel him. You can't lose. If she grabs your team, your ultimate can count as a pseudo-defensive ultimate because the armor buildup can reduce a lot of the follow-up damage. <laughs> Against Anna, your best bet is to try and block the nade and sleep dart with your shield. Nothing else to it. In a Brigitte 1v1, it's a swing fest, so don't bother stopping the shield or else it puts you at a disadvantage. If you started the duel at a health disadvantage, go for a stun then a guaranteed knockback to create some distance. Against Lucio, you can cancel his beat drop with your stun if he does it in your face. Against Mercy, I wouldn't waste your time flailing her in the air since it can be hard to hit and she'll just regen afterwards. What you should be looking for is a stun or a boop to prevent the res. Against Mora, you can shield bash the coalescence to cancel it. In a 1v1, she will win if she has a full biotic orb on you. But if you have your ultimate available, the armor buildup will beat it out. Worst case scenario, you can just hold your shield up to stop her biotic grasp. Against Symmetra, nope. you can win the 1v1s if you perform the 150 damage combo with Shield Bash, Melee, and Flail. To kill there her. was not a DPS character that could duel her other than like Cassidy with Flashbang and like headshots from like snipers. Quickly as possible before her Fair, I guess. ramps up. And finally, against Zenyatta, you should win every time you get in range of him unless <laughs> he lands three straight discorded headshots. If he's charging a secondary fire, you can just hold your shield up to block it or stun him to cancel it. Just, Additionally, just run his ass seconds, down! He is prone to the flail boop, so you can try your best to knock him off the map. And that wraps up all the heroes. Thank you so much, Karki, for jo- Wait a minute. That's me. Guess I'm allowed to promote myself. Follow my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram. 863 f <laughs> followers. Let's get it to a thousand. But yeah, follow my shit. <laughs> Love you. Holy sh! What was that? <laughs> Let's go check out the Instagram. What? What's the Instagram link? Look at him! The come up, thirteen point six k. Sheesh! The come up, dude. Wow, this guy, dude, come a long way.